A fast-moving wildfire near Estacada continues to grow tonight, and more and more people are now being told to get out. Thank you, everybody, for watching Queen 6 News at 6. I'm Ann State. I'm Jeff Gianola, and they're calling it the 36 Pit Fire. It's burning 10 miles east of Estacada tonight. We have complete coverage of this wildfire. Chief Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke standing by with the latest on weather conditions. But let's switch it right over to Ken Body live near the fire lines. What's the latest, Ken? Well, first, this fire is moving very fast. In fact, we have to leave this area right after this report. We're right off Highway 224. You can see the plume of smoke right behind me. There are about three dozen people who are being evacuated right now from this area, homeowners. Immediate evacuation orders have been issued for Southeast Fall Creek Road. That's just up Highway 224 here, as well as Michaels Road. And evacuation orders may soon be coming for Tumala Mountain Road. This fire, as you can see, is showing no signs of letting up. The 36 pit fire started on Saturday at just 30 acres. By Sunday, it exploded to more than 1,000. And now, after jumping the Clackamas River, more than 2,300 acres are affected with zero containment. This whole area between here and the mountain and Maupin practically is just a tinderbox been waiting to go for a long time. Fire crews from Washington State and other parts of Oregon are arriving to battle the blaze. About 150 firefighters are on the front lines now. We've ordered a significant number of additional resources, more crews, more engines, more overhead staff. Potentially good news for communities affected by the fire. A fire area closure was issued Sunday night, which includes roads, trails, and recreation areas along Highway 224. The Lazy Bend Campground and Work Center are evacuated, as well as the Silver Fox RV Park. It's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. In Estacada, just a few miles away, we found these Les Schwab workers in masks, protecting themselves from the smoke and ash from the fire. Fire Incident Command tells me Estacada is not threatened, but for people who live here, it's still too close for comfort. It's growing fast. It's one of the bigger, fastest ones I've seen or heard of even, you know, in quite a long time. Fire Incident Command tells me the weather is making battling this fire more difficult. There are changing winds and, of course, the heat. So firefighters are dealing with steep terrain, and when the terrain is steep, the fire likes to run up the hill. So it spreads the fire more rapidly. And that's exactly what's happening now. Look at this thick smoke coming out of this valley. Again, we have been warned to leave this area now, which we will as soon as I finish this report. A special fire command out of Washington State has just arrived. They're taking over command of this fire right now as of 6 o'clock. Again, no containment, and we've been told that it may be weeks before this fire is contained. Live near Estacada, Ken Body, Coin 6 News. Ken, thank you so much.